What is up guys, we're going to be testing out Red Dead Redemption 2 on DLSS 4.5 with um, preset, which is preset M and um, we're going to be running it with 100% DLA override in the NVIDIA app and the reason I want to test this out because the thing is this is a huge performance hit, especially on the older RTX 20 and 30 series graphics cards because apparently they don't have a transistor which is called FP8. They have FP16 but they don't have FP8 which the RTX 40 and 50 series do have. So the performance hit on these uh, older 20 and uh, 30 series graphics cards are like way bigger essentially you're losing way more performance because of the LSS 4.5 than on RTX 40 or 50 series all right so one of the first things that you can see um, running the game on um, Vulcan because I tried DirectX 12 and for some reason the game just crashes I just can't even launch the game so I had to like go into the folder and copy the uh, DirectX 12 back into the main folder where I installed uh, Red Redemption 2 because otherwise I had like no other ways to just even change it in the settings because it just crashes like every single time when I just try to like launch it with DirectX 12. Not sure like what's causing that because I don't have a single mod installed so we are going to be running it with Vulkan so I can't really see the performance on DirectX 12. Let me show the settings quickly. Um, I have it on 180 refresh rate. I obviously will not have that many frame rate. And we have uh, NVIDIA DLSS Ultra quality. Almost everything on Ultra besides this particle quality. And as you can see, it's in Vulcan. Um, these water physics almost to max. So pretty much almost everything is on ultra besides a couple of stuff that might be like too demanding and i want to actually show you um what is this i want to show you in nvidia app that we are running the latest preset which is dlss 4.5 this is dlss 4.5 preset m and preset k is dlss 4.0 which is already really good and i don't really see any difference there might be some differences you know i don't say that there aren't but as far as performance once again on rtx 20 and 30 series i feel like preset k is reasonably a better choice just because purely on the performance how much performance you're like losing and you're not really getting that much uh visually uh, better uh image quality so but either way we're going to be testing it on rtx 30 ti once again and um, i'm running it uh, with dlss override on 100% dlaa as you can see here and i'm totally like wondering how good this can actually look or like if this is actually like playable um frame rate is like not the greatest come on we are achieving like what is this 50s something like that yeah not the greatest frame rate and we are running on 1% uh, GPU power uh, limit or like power draw whatever it is usually I run my GPU on 70% power draw because on 1% it's just um, too loud for me you know the 30 Ti is a really loud GPU so it's, it can be annoying um, as far as performance, it's relatively good. I'm actually surprised because the performance is, as far as right now, relatively stable. Like we are almost achieving 60 frame rate, which should be recommended when it comes to like playing uh, Red Redemption 2. 60s is, is like good, but we are barely like hitting like 50s most of the time and this is like not even that of a intensive scenario I'm wondering like what happens yep. if we just start a shooting scenario here I mean not much I guess Frame rate is like 
solid most of the time so it's not too bad and i only can say that i personally see a difference between this and dlss 4.0 like i mean unless you're like comparing it side by side even then i'm not really sure that we're gonna see any difference at least in this title because it's not the newest game but uh, this definitely like helps with the image quality to make it a little bit better if you want to have a better image but I'm not sure how much better it is in exchange to performance what we're gonna do Easy. we're gonna just try to like check out um, how it performs with the uh, LSS uh, 4.0 which is preset K here I'm gonna select it and then uh, we'll probably have to like restart the game because it's not really recognizing it so I'm gonna be back soon so here we are back with uh, DLSS oops that was some stutter there so here we are back with DLSS 4, which is preset K. I'm going to show it to you uh, in no time. As you can see, preset K. And right now, we are significantly above the 60s. I don't even think a single time we have achieved a uh, 60 frame rate when it comes to like... Um, what is this? When it comes to the preset M which is DLSS 4.5. Like, I don't think we have a single time achieved this frame rate. Oh, and by the way, to just uh, let you know, the settings are pretty much the same. I did not change a single thing. Um, as you can see, and with the DLSS on ultra quality and pretty much everything is the same. We are still running it on Vulkan and yeah, everything is like the same as before. The only difference that I can see clearly is the higher frame rate. Like we are right now, we are 20 FPS or like a bit like more than 20. Like we're getting 25 more frames, which is reasonable because there's a huge difference between not even getting like 60 frames or like getting like 70s, uh, 80 frame rates, which is way more playable. And once again, the difference, the visual quality yeah. difference is not there to be seen I can't really say any difference like I, I yep. can't see any difference which is I would say yeah. I mean unless you're like comparing it side by side and even then I'm not really sure how much of a difference you're actually gonna like notice um, I don't think that running preset M is worth it as far as uh, running it on an older graphics card like the RTX 30 Ti which is crazy to say because this GPU I would say still holds up just as good as, uh, as it has some been before um, So hopefully this is over. Um, honestly, back to the game, like the uh, performance. Uh, I think preset K is the way to go. Like this looks already phenomenal, and I don't think that if you have an RTX 3080 Ti or even a 3080 or a 3090, um, that you should be using preset M. Yeah because you're getting so low performance for a very minuscule uh, image quality boost so to say if you are getting any boost like difference when it comes to like playing the game
But there's also this uh, new preset, which is preset L. I'm wondering how that runs over here. That is, I think, like even more taxing. But we're gonna like see it, and um, I'm not sure like how much it is like noticeable when it comes to like obviously it's not as good comparing it on YouTube, but you can compare it uh, for yourself as well and decide for your own like which one you think is like worth more to have more frame rate or Whoa, some easy. boost to the image that you are maybe or maybe not uh, even gonna notice at all. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna just uh, pretty much go over here and uh, change to preset L. I'm wondering how that actually will change the overall quality of the screen and how much frame rate we're gonna be able to achieve with this. Alright, as you can see we are back again with preset L which is uh, the LSS 4.5 but I think it's a higher version than uh, preset M. Either way, as you can see uh, the settings are pretty much roughly the same. I did not change anything Still on ultra quality when it comes to like NVIDIA DLSS. Still running it on Vulkan and uh, yeah, these are the settings. Nothing has been changed. And you're gonna see one thing. Frame rate has gotten worse. We are not even, or like barely achieving the 50s anymore. So this is more taxing than um, preset M. And once again, as far as the image quality, it might be a bit like more sharper than preset K or preset M, but uh, do I really need this is the question. You're gonna notice night and day sort of a difference. I would say not, not at all, especially not in this old title. I think this game needs to be like, it doesn't need to be like remastered, but since it doesn't really have this new I mean, it's already not new. Du dual sense controller support and stuff like that. Um, okay. This game needs to be like remastered first, or something, some enhancements, you know. And then we maybe we're gonna see a difference. But as far as right now, um, I don't really see a difference between the two. Like between this and preset yep. M and preset K. I can only see the difference between the frames. The frames are like way worse. Like we are achieving like the 50s. Barely, barely achieving the 50s. So it's, I mean, you can still play this way because I remember when I first played this game on the RTX 2070 and when I run it on ultra settings, 1080p, these were roughly the frames that I uh, achieved or maybe even less. Well, who's this you brought me? But, um, you know, honestly, it is even worth to be using this, or like playing this game in this way. Um, I would say on the RTX 20 and 30 series, if you have a 20 or 30 series graphics card, all I can say is this is not really worth it. Yeah, the screen or like the image quality might be better right now if you are even gonna like notice it at all. Uh, but I don't think it's worth it. I really don't think it's like worth it in its current um, form of how much frames are actually like losing at the moment. So, in all honesty, if you want to enjoy this game, uh, change this here in the NVIDIA app, the LCS override, uh, to preset K and just enjoy it that this way. By the way, I forgot to like mention the video, if you really want to try DLSS 4.5, you have to go into the settings and about, and then click on opt-in to beta access or experimental features, and then you will have uh, to like relaunch this NVIDIA app. But in all honesty, um, I can't really say that uh, the game is worth to be played in uh, this form. At least if you have a 20 or 30 series graphics card. Maybe the performance is not as big of a hit on the RTX 40 and 50 series. Once again, because of a transistor, which is called FB. 8. They don't have FB8 transistors on the RTX 30 and 20 series and maybe this is 
or this could be the reason or maybe you know they will like uh optimize it better in the future you know who knows but the option is still there to be played and enjoy this way but uh i don't think it's worth it like you're getting so minus color difference in comparison to the image quality that uh, you're losing way too many frames like we're almost losing like 30 frames in some areas which is huge if you are not even achieving like 60s either way uh take care as always and uh see you in the next one